So one day I was looking on YouTube here trying to find a way to preserve flowers and I seen a video by a lady um, who was using paraffin wax. But I never did see how they survived or anything, how they were preserved. And um, so I figured I would try it on this. So my father-in-law just passed away not long ago, about a week ago, and we got some of these flowers and the flowers are dying and I really want to save some of them so I am going to try the paraffin wax um, option and see how that does. I have done a few already here. This isn't done yet. This is just some that but I have taken some of those off and dipped those in the paraffin wax already. Um, these here just to see and here's some I have that I have dipped in already that are already hanging up to dry and they should be about dry. Um, so, but I'm going to see how they do and how they stay preserved. Because I know, you know, I cut off, and I am still on those with the wax too. And she used a pot and a can. The pot had the water in it, the can had the wax in, like a double boiler thing. But since I've got this already um, for a hand uh, thing, and it's paired from wax in there. I went ahead and melted some all in there and I have it on keep warm and um, we're going to do a few more to show you what I'm trying to do okay so this one here sorry we're going to try another one of these uh, I think it's a chrysanthemum and see how that goes Yes, I'm trying to do this alone because nobody wanted to do it because they'd be laughing too much. Okay, so I'm going to cut it off here and take the leaves off here. So, so we got that. Okay, let me go ahead and take these off here that I've already done. That one's a heavy one. And yes, I've got paper over it so with the wax drips, um, it'll catch the wax and it won't be. Okay. See, this is a, a big one of these here. So, I'm going to set that back there. And then I got one of the small lilies and done. Well, I can't get that to stop. Well, still dropped it. Okay. This is one of the lilies. It's already been waxed. And as you can see, yes, it's um, sealed there. Okay. Now we've got the chrysanthemum. And take this lid off here. I'm going to dip this down in real quick and try to get it all in there. Yes, it's going to have to drip some off. Of course, you want to get some all in there, but you got to make sure it's lit. Now, what I do on the stems, well, this one I'm going to have to dip in like that. Just drop it in there and pick it back up. And yes, make it drip. Okay. Now, I'm going to hang it up so give me just a minute here okay okay we got it hung up there so it'll drip and dry off and when it dries I'll take these little tips off of here on there and we will see how this goes but I think that's still pretty right there. That first one. It's real heavy though. Um, but I'm going to see how long they actually work. How long they stay. And this one, I guess I should have held it up a little bit. Hang, hung it up a little bit more because it's wanting to stick together there. But, um. We'll uh, let that go and see what's going on. Set that there, there. And, of course, it helps your hands, too. Soften them up. 
let's see here. Let's try, so I got a calla lily here, and I've got the rose back there, and we got the lilies. And you know, I did try one to the small lily, so I guess I could try the big lily. Oh no. Let's see here. Let's get this one. Because I want to get them before they die. And that's what they're doing. They're dying off, as you can see. See? Okay. Well, okay. I'm going to have to cut. This one's got two of them on there. Um, this one's a little. Got brown spots. This one looks a lot better. So. Take the scissors. Let me see if I can do this without. Well, let me move that out there a little bit longer. I'm gonna cut it off. There. There we go. Got that one cut off. Um, I guess I need to make some room here. Get this wax off my fingers. Even though I was fixing to get some more on there. Okay. Well, and here's the paraffin wax. Dip it in there. And yes, I'm going to let it flip it over that way. Whoops. It slipped out of my hand. Come. Let it drip off a little bit. Oh, I kept the leaf on there, but that's okay. Okay. That's still wet, but it's getting there. Okay, so we're gonna hang that one up here too. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, yes, it's gonna have drips on it, but we're gonna take that off and see. Um, so, all right, we got a few more to do. And uh, let's go ahead and try the calla lily here. This is the calla lily. I really like how long this one is, but we can't keep it that long. Pretty, ain't it? So I'm going to have to cut that one down. Okay. I'm going to cut it to about right here. And yeah, it's good to have, I made me a little clothesline like the lady said. And I always put something underneath it just in case the wax does strip. Okay, let me get this wax again off my fingers. Boy, my fingers are going to feel good. They already are. So, all right, there's the calla lily. And I'm just going to drop it down in there and roll it around. And yes, i got to get inside of it. So we still got to drip it. And yes, it's still on the bottom. And the inside. So we will see how this does. Okay, let me. Hang this one upside down. That way the wax will. Drip on out of it. Oops. There we go. Okay. And we're going to do one more. And that's going to be the rose. So let me get the clothespin here and have it ready when I get that rose done. Okay, this rose, well, it's already dying. And this one here. But we do have a third one over here. Let's see. Well, I'm getting caught up in it. This one here. It's not, it looks pretty. We're going to see about this one. No. Okay. So, all right. We're going to take off the wax. I'm going to leave the green on there. Hopefully it will work. Okay. I'm going to cut it down. Because you can't do that whole limb. Okay. Well, here we go with the roses. With the rose. I'm going to go ahead and dip it in. And like I said, this is my first time doing it, so I really don't know how this is going to come out. 
So we've got to drip that. Okay. And let's see how it looks. Still looks pretty. Okay. And it thinks good. So we're going to hang it up here too. It's hard to do this with two hands and keeping it all where you can see it. But we're trying. I'm trying. All right. So, like I said, we've got the drips here on these. So we're going to just take them off and let it hang a little bit. And let them dry. Like I said, I already done these. These, whoops. Undoubtedly, I did that one too good because this done broke off. Let me get this wax off my fingers again. Maybe it'd be easier for me to hold. Okay, yes, I put the lid back on the paraffin wax. Okay, this is one been done already. And like I said, this one has been done too. It's really hard now. Okay. And another one. And this is the uh, stem of the purple ones that I've done. And um, today is June the 6th, 2016. And we will see just how long these stay. Like I said, I've never done it before. This is just an experiment. I've seen it on the YouTube before and um, we're just going to see how it works so, get this little bit of uh, wax off here oh, it seems like it's got a little bit more hardening to do before we able to take it off um, let's see if we can get underneath here there's the rose and the calla lily I really like the calla lily there's the other lilies and I think call that the chrysanthemum. I may be wrong. I'm not really good on the flower names, but I do believe that's it. I'm not sure. If I'm, if I'm wrong, you'll let me know. So, and I will make up another video and see exactly how long these last, and I will get back to you on that. I hope you enjoyed this experiment, and like I said, we'll share with the results about how long they last. Thank you.